everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you've been keeping up with my channel and Avery Dawnside's channel, then you will know that I am now at Golden Leaf Stables, except it's not Golden Leaf anymore. I am now an intern at Dawnside Equestrian Facility, and I am so, so happy for Avery now that she owns her own barn. She has a lot more responsibilities, meaning that I have been helping out a lot, and in this video, I will be showing you a morning in my life, so let's get started. So this morning started off bright and early at 6.15 a.m. I was in my pajamas, so I quickly changed into some casual riding clothes and headed down to the barn. First thing on my agenda today was to work with Clover. I decided to lunch her before our ride because she had the previous two days off and I could tell she was very fresh. I just did a simple walk trot canter session on the lunge line while making sure she was listening to my cues, paying attention, and respecting me while just getting some of her energy out. We've been working a lot on ground manners and bonding and other crucial things because riding isn't the only part of training a horse. After this, I tacked her up and continued to work on her transitions and head tossing. She has a tendency to get very excited and start tossing her head, jerking her head down and pulling on the bit, which are not good habits, especially when small children who aren't as strong are riding her because it can get dangerous. And I just want to say, I can't express how much I love this mare. Despite her playfulness, she's so sweet and has so much personality and she's pretty chill most of the time, she just gets a little excited. Because Clover was so good in our little flat practice, I decided to take her out on the trail. The Dawnside Equestrian Facility, I'll have to get used to saying that, has beautiful trails. They are so pretty and great for cross country, but I haven't started jumping her out on the trails yet because we're still working on that in the arena, but I just like desensitizing her and making sure that she doesn't spook or anything, and she was really good. And then I got a phone call. <laughs> Hello? Hey Ava, I had an unexpected meeting come up and I was wondering if you could take over the 8 a.m. lesson with Olivia and her pony Comet? Oh, of course. I just finished with Clover, so that's no problem. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much. So, as you heard, I had to teach Olivia and her pony Comet. I had watched Avery teach one of their lessons before, so I kind of knew what they were working on. So we just started the lesson by talking about what we wanted to get done and what we wanted to work on. And I was really happy with how their lesson went. Olivia is nine and Comet is her lease pony, so she just trailers him in because he lives on her property. So they have been working on flat mostly and I think she has started to jump, but today they were just working on their transitions and making sure they were very smooth. And as you can see, I was clapping for her because I was really impressed with how she did. Something I like to do at the end of the lessons I teach is ask the student what they are proud of that day and something they think they need to work on for the next lesson and I think this is really just a good way to debrief the lesson and help with confidence. Mm -hmm. 
By now, I was getting pretty hungry. It was 9 a.m., so I headed down to the local cafe, which is my new favorite spot recommended by Avery. And I just stopped to view the scenery on the way there because this part of Jorvik is just so pretty and I'm so grateful I have the chance to be here. So I got my coffee and cinnamon roll and breakfast is usually the time that I take to plan the following day and just get everything organized because I am that type of person. I need to have lists and plans and yeah, so I just made a schedule. When I came back to the stables, I got Archie because it was time for my own personal lesson at Silverglade Manor and I've still been keeping up lessons with my old trainer even though I am now at the Dawnside Equestrian Facility and today I was having a jumping lesson so I just trailered him over there. running a bit late today so I just tacked him up really quickly and then headed over to the arena. I did have to wait like one minute for the last lesson to finish up but when it did, I just started warming up. I just did a simple walk, trot, canter warm up just so he could kind of get moving. We worked on putting him in a frame and I also had to get warmed up because this day was so cold. I feel like it just kept getting colder throughout the day. So I needed to get warmed up myself. So we started jumping by just warming up on this little yellow cross rail and he was really good so we just did that both ways and then we did a line to this green vertical and he was also super good. Then we just worked on that green one both ways and we just warm up with a few singles first before we start putting anything into courses. So we also did this yellow vertical by itself. So then we worked on a course and we actually did some pretty high stuff today with, which was a little bit nerve wracking. I'm stumbling over my words, but I feel like we did pretty good and it definitely helped raise my confidence because I have not jumped this high before. We did some pretty hard turns and bending lines just so I could work on my striding. I was so, so proud of how we did in our lesson today, so I gave him lots of pets and then gave him a good cool down before we headed back. Hi everyone, I just got back from our lesson and put Archie in his stall and most of the horses in the barn have been turned out now so I need to get started on cleaning stalls. So I'm going to do that for the next hour or however long it takes because honestly stalls take a really long time.
it is around 1 p.m. now, so this even went into a little bit of the afternoon, but I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you did, it really helps me out, and make sure to go check out Avery Dawnside's channel. And yeah, that's all I have today. I will see you in the next one. Bye! She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa